Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and I'm so glad that you stopped by. I'm also happy because this month I am a guest on the Stay Crafty with a blog named Hero. And this month's challenge is Dilightful, and you can do anything and everything as long as it features a die cut. And I'll give you more information about that in a minute. This project features the Hero Arts Mailbox Fancy Layering Die Set. And it, it's really cool that it, you can cut it in little pieces and you can stick things around. So let's get to it. We're starting off with just plain white cardstock and the Hero Arts Bubbles background stamp using some clear sticky ink. Hero Arts has some and Versamark. And I'm just randomly just printing a, a few bubbles because it'll kind of look like snow. I'm going to heat emboss this with some sparkling embossing glitter to give it just a little bit of, you know, pop. It's not just uh, the everyday glitter. Hey, it's Christmas. You get to use all the glitz and glitter this time of year, even though it is August. But I'm just going to put that back in the jar because I don't know about you, but I have knocked over more than one thing of embossing powder or glitter or glue or anything else that's anywhere near me. I let the heat tool heat up for about, oh, I don't know, 15 seconds. And you can heat it from the back because you some of the little glittery parts do kind of blow off. You have to be very careful with this kind of embossing powder also because it'll just sink right into the paper. And I'm going to get, take care of the rest of the card there. I finally decided kind of where I was going to place the mailbox. So I'm just repeating the steps. But any clear or white or embossing powder or any embossing powder for that matter, if you overheat it, it'll melt right into the paper and you're done. There's no fixing it. So there is the beginning of our background. Now I'm going to just do, just, it isn't fancy, trust me. Anybody that knows me knows that this isn't going to be fancy, but you just get some color down on the background. I'm using um, Broken Ocean and Broken China. And I know it's going to look like a hot mess. And you will kind of brush up a little bit of the glitter, but it shows through enough. It just won't be maybe as gaudy as it could have been. And then you want to make sure you wipe off the ink that's sitting on top of the embossing powder and go to town with the other color. While I'm doing this, a block named Hero and uh, Stay Crafty with Hero Arts combined, and it's a cha new challenge um, thing. And all you have to do is post a card and link it to Stay Crafty with a blog named Hero. The parameters are this month for our die cuts. And this is that fancy mailbox die. And I'm going to pile up several layers so that you can, um, you know, stick some mail in here. But first, I was afraid that some of that was going to show uh, behind the mailbox. So I went ahead and just took the pad to paper and slopped on some embossing powder. And now I'm going to make snow with some puffy embossing powder. So it will kind of look like snow. It puffs up and you want to also be careful with this because if you overheat it, it will also sink into the paper. But anyway, there are it, there's at least a $50 gift certificate and a I think there's a $25 one. And just chose them, the ones chosen by the team and the others chosen at random. And I hope you participate. It's a lot of fun. And it, it gets you using your crafty mind for a little bit. See, so, you now I'm stacking these. And I actually had different colors of red, but it, it didn't matter. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I got them even with each other. I don't like, want it, I don't want to show. Now I'm snipping off the mail, you know, the little uh, flap on a mailbox where you, you know, pull down the thing and stick the mail in. I'm cutting that off. That way I'll be able to tuck some things in there. And when I'm gluing it, I'm just being careful to not put any glue in that area. I put a little bit up behind 
here in a second, I'm like, oh, maybe I should do that. But just a very little bit. I probably used too much glue. And now I'm going to use just a little bit of a Versamark pen because I wanted to put some snow, you know, because it, it couldn't just be sitting there without snow now that I have it snowing and snow on the ground. So I'm just putting some more of that puff powder on and it's not going to you know, be a ton, but it'll be a nice little touch and some of it will get covered up, but that's just kind of how it rolls. So anyhow, do check Instagram. That's where they do a lot of the um, announcements for the Stay Crafty with a Blog Main Hero. And uh, I hope I'll see you there. Now I'm starting to just place my mailbox on my four and a quarter by five and a half card, um, my the background. Now I am going to trim that down in a little bit. And I wanted a little bit of, you know, depth to this. I'm not the greatest with the Copics, but I just wanted to make it, and it's going to kind of go away here in a bit. So it'll be a lot more subtle. Right now it's not exactly subtle, but it will, it'll all be well in the end. Then I took a gold marker, one of those Karen markers, and added that to the plate of the mailbox. And then I decided, oh, let's put on some shimmer. So now I'm using a shimmer pen. All the supplies will be linked below and over at my blog, thedarbycreekdiaries.com. And I'm just gonna color this in and it does temporarily change the color of your paper. And if you this on the top of a marker, Make sure you, this will reactivate watercolors, um, water-based markers. So just keep that in mind and you're going to want to go very carefully. Now I want to, since I have it all set up, I'm using some press and seal. I'm just getting that to stick down really well so that I can glue all of this down. I also took a picture of it just in case if you don't get all the pieces just perfect. I just stuffed all those uh, things up in the mailbox and I had some branches and stuff out of my scrap bin from other projects. So I just stuck those in as well. And I love the fine tip on any sort of glue. This happens to be um, uh, glitter glue and uh, it does a great job, but I do love the tip and any glue would be just fine here. So I'm almost finished, but I, of course, I'll always leave something that has to be re-glued. But here we go. I decided not to glue the things that were lying around the ground because I thought maybe I'd want to reposition them. See the little bubbles there? Doesn't that kind of look like snow? And then this fabulous press and seal, you just put it all back down and it keeps everything nicely in place. And you can use this over and over uh, until it gets dirty or goopy. And you just carefully remove it. And if something isn't glued down, it'll, it'll take it with it, but that's okay. 90% of it got glued down. And then I started looking at the legs of the mailbox and I thought, well, this looks you know, kind of weird. So I'm going to add some more of the puff embossing powder to the bottom there. And I'm sorry that a lot of that is off screen. I didn't realize my paper. There we go. And I kind of push it down. I don't know that that really helps, but it made me feel better. And just heat setting that as well. And I know I'm going to place some things around it so it'll, you know, not be quite so stark and obvious. I'm gluing some more of those little uh, leaf pieces that I had die, or die cut for another project. Uh, those are ink blended and I can definitely um, link how I did that. And also a million ways to make snow. I have a really kind of popular um, tutorial on that and I'll also link that below. There's lots and lots of ways to make it look like snow. 
then I decided I didn't want the snow to be quite so puffy and, and, and matte when I have all this glitter. So I put a little bit of the glitter um, embossing powder over the top and try to bring some sparkle to that. Try to pull everything together. So pretty heavy on the embossing, but you know, that is what brought me into making cards. Back in the 90s, I saw Carol Duvall, um, and they were doing this heat embossing, and I thought, wow, I've got to do that. That's magical. I'm just going to go ahead here and place the rest of our envelopes. The envelopes also come with that mailbox die set. And I have masked off the front of the mailbox because I'm going to put my greeting there. And I'm sprinkling a little bit of white ink over the top just to kind of, and, and I see that, oh, there's some spots. I'm a not the best flicker. And I have this jar and you want to make sure that you put your press and seal all the way down because you want to get the air out of it. You do not want to trap air in and just put it across the top. You want to stuff it in. That's something I learned from Tim Holtz's lives. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a, my embossing powder and do my little greeting. And that's from a retired, um, one of the monthly sets. But I did find a set that has the identical uh, style greeting and I did link it below. And I always use my powder bag because Man, I will get it everywhere, especially it seems like gold and black. I can't even be trusted with black. It's just everywhere. So I'm carefully sticking it in the bottle, but always have a piece of paper underneath just in case. And there we go. That just pops. That I just, I'm telling you, that heat embossing is the bee's knees. And off screen, I used the rounded rectangle to die cut the background. And then I layered it on top of some red. And then I made my card base out of 100 pounds um, cardstock. And I'm just adding a few little snowflakes here and there to, you know, little silver ones to go with the envelopes. And it just kind of makes it pop. So here's the finished uh, project. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll come back and see me, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't forget to go uh, and participate in the Stay Crafty with a blog named Hero. I believe the deadline is September 25th, 2022, um, but you might want to double check that because uh, off the top of my head though, I think that's when it usually is over for a chance to win those wonderful gift cards from Hero Arts. And here's my information, social media, and I'm gonna leave some videos for you. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.